hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new on here my name is tonia and you are totally free to smash the subscribe button break it that's right and do whatever you like with it okay and in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys the day that i stole a child <laughs> I decided to share this story because I am hoping that there are three sets of people in this story that will learn and especially parents even though this story is probably not technically the way you think it is you're going to understand soon so back in 2012 I had gotten a new job and I needed somewhere closer to my workplace and my uncle was the closest so I decided to go stay with him one of our neighbors had this beautiful baby when I say beautiful I mean that words cannot explain kind of beautiful the woman was mixed with some kind of other race um, either she was mixed with some kind of Indian or somewhere in that area so you can imagine the baby the baby was so beautiful with long hair her skin was literally like some kind of caramel or something and people that knows me knows that I am obsessed about babies this particular day I was going to go see my friend it was a Saturday and my friend lived just like 10 blocks away from us so like when i'm free i will go over there we will talk about girl stuff you know we'll talk about boys and things like that and on this particular day while i was going to my friend's place i saw my neighbor's daughter she was outside she was just playing and having fun and her mom had just had a new baby so she wasn't being given a lot of attention if you, if you understand what i mean so she was all by herself outside just playing so I called her and I was like, let's just give her caramel. Let's say her name is caramel. Like she's, she's so perfect like that. <laughs> so I was like, caramel, like what are you doing outside? And she was like, she wants to come with me. She's about four or five years old. And I was like, sure. So I took her with me to my friend's place. And I'm telling you that we spent around three to four hours at my friend's place. And we were just talking. And you know how girls things are. Like when you start discussing about things you don't you don't even know how much time is flying so me and my friend we were just talking we we're just having so much fun i bought this baby yogurt i bought her cheese balls biscuits just i bought her so many things like i really really liked the child like i was so obsessed about her but not in a bad way like i generally just love kids like that we were just having fun at my friend's place my friend cooked we ate and then um, like we found out that there was some kind of chaos going around on the street like we, we didn't know what was going on but we knew that there was some kind of chaos we heard that there were police or whatnot and we were like okay like it's normal honestly there are some parts of the world that you will grow up in and those kind of things are just like seeing police every day and just violence or crimes are just normal occurrences so we're like okay whatever like whatever happens we'll hear about it later and then we were finally done at my friend's place and decided to go back home. Now, we walk home and all of a sudden there are neighbors all over the place. Police, the mom of the baby, the baby's dad, everybody's outside. And I was like, okay, like, what is going on? You know, like somebody died, you know? And when the mom sighted me coming with the child, she ran. Oh my God. When I say she ran, she ran and came and grabbed her baby. Didn't say a word to me and just walked away. And everybody just came and started, started screaming at me like, why would you do such a thing? Why would you do blah, blah, blah? I was like, at this point, I still didn't know what I did. Because if you look at my actions, they were very innocent. Like, I just took my neighbor's child for shopping thing. Like, I didn't intentionally want to steal the baby or anything. You know, like, it's my house. I'm coming back there. And so, 
I technically didn't steal the child, but then I did, if you get what I mean, because for four hours they've been looking for this baby. Police were all over the place. The mom was crying her eyes out. And I had absolutely no idea. I feel like the reason why everything was so over the top was because I, I was just a new neighbor. Like my uncle had been there for over three years in that same house. But I had just moved there like six months ago. So people didn't really know me that much because I went to work early in the morning and I came back in the evening. So a lot of people didn't know me. That was what made it worse. But every neighbor knew me. Like six months in the place is enough for people to know you. But not people on the street, but people in our house knew who I was. Okay? So, but people on the street didn't know. So everybody was screaming at me like, blah, blah, blah. like why would you take somebody's child away and not tell the mom, blah, blah, blah. And I, I'm telling you that my naive self at that point still didn't, still didn't know what I did. I still couldn't fathom what I did wrong because to me, I did good. Like I just bought the baby all sorts of stuff. Like we're just having fun. Like why are you guys like, like what's up, you know? <laughs> So I did, I, even when everybody was screaming at me with the police all over the place, I still didn't know what I did. So the police were like, well, since it's technically not a missing person's case or anything like that, there's no need for any more further investigations or anything like that. And that's how the police left and neighbors also left. And I just couldn't go to the mom because I wasn't even smart enough. I, didn't, I still didn't think that I had done anything wrong to go apologize. It was when my uncle came back from work in the evening because he worked Saturdays. He had heard what had happened, so he took me to the woman's house. I was like, we should go apologize to her. And that was what we did. I told the woman that I am sorry, like, I didn't know that. Like, I didn't think it was a problem for me to just take the baby because I wasn't taking her far away. First of all, we're just going 10 blocks down the street. So I didn't think that there was need to tell, like if we were going far away, I would have told her or anything like that. And the woman was like, no problem. Like next time I should just tell her, like I shouldn't do that. Like she almost died. Like I felt the pain of what it was like to lose a child at that point in time. And that's why I want to tell parents to be careful, to look out, to watch their babies like as you see I'm not the bad guy here because everything that I did was innocent and very naive of me I didn't steal the child but what if if I was like someone else you know like what if I was what if I was actually a, a, a thief like what if I was someone with bad motives and I I really wanted to steal the baby like a lot of things happen around the world like we've heard of how a woman in a church who has been attending this church for so many years just um took us uh, uh, one of the members child and just disappeared and they couldn't find this woman they didn't know where she took the child to like it was somebody that the woman knew and handed the baby over to and was like like you know like let me go to the bathroom or something like that and the woman disappeared with the baby in cases like this what do you say you've been attending the same church with this person for years and the person just leaves it to your child like you can never believe it that's the same thing in this case the woman might have known me for six months but i might have had bad intentions i might have taken the baby away like who would have known but the only thing is that i was coming from a genuine place like i innocently didn't steal the child like i just i just wasn't smart enough to tell the mom that i was taking the baby out and that was what happened but it could have been so different so i am telling all parents out there today learn okay I know that it is hard when you have kids, when you have a child, sometimes it's hard to keep track of every second of their life. But I'm telling you that as much as you can, be mindful, be watchful of them. They're innocent souls. They wouldn't know who's good and who's bad, you know? So like I'm telling parents today to be careful and also, I also want to tell another category of people which are the people who live on the street. I took this baby, walked all the way 10 blocks down the street and nobody saw me. Because if somebody had seen me, they would have said, oh, I saw your neighbor, she took the baby. They, everybody would have been calm or they would have known where to start from. But they were confused, they didn't even know where to start from. And that's because nobody saw me technically take the child, you see. So neighbors, watch out. Other set of people again are in my category. Be careful. Like. 
be more mature although i can't say that i'm the same person from seven years ago of course i've learned and i am i am like smarter and i'm not as naive as i used to be then but be mindful okay like when you want to take kids out of like the house tell their parents if you want to take kids out of like their neighborhood tell the parents so they know where they are and who they're with so that way they will decide if they want to leave their babies with you or not so i don't want this video to be too long but i decided to share this story because i was making a video last week on get to know me and, and i remember that i'd kind of technically stolen a child before and i decided to tell the story in this video i hope that this video has helped you in some kind of way and has educated you in some kind of way because trust me the world is not a very nice place so please, to anybody out there who misunderstood this video before they even clicked on it, that is, it wasn't really what you were thinking. I didn't steal the child, but I technically did because everybody thought for four hours that the child was actually missing. And that's why I titled this video like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new on here, please don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Join this family. We do a lot of fun things. And click on the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I post. I'll see you guys in my next one. Ciao.